at the, at the closure of this morning, um, a few words of thanks, first of all, to you, Katrina, for, for guiding us um, through this morning. Um, we wanted to, to have a timeline. Uh, we wanted to have a timeline of accountability. And we started with the beginning, with the Nuremberg trial, and we are extremely proud uh, to have Ben Ferenc here. Um, and as Katrina said, I don't think we ended with the future, but we ended with something that is still necessary. And I was struck by what Ben told us about the guy in the camp who had hidden, had put the, the passports in the, uh, in the back and buried it. Uh, and what, what we are still doing, what you are doing, Mohammed, is dig up that back. Uh, dig up that back and make it public, make it shown to the world. And the timeline that we try to depict is a lifetime. It's a lifetime, it's a lifetime denied, a life denied to Anne Frank. It's a life denied to all those other people who perished in the Holocaust, who perished, perished in the Second World War. It's a life denied to all those other people who died in other conflicts, be it Rwanda or be it now in Syria. And we owe it to them to make sure that justice will be done. And there's a special duty, in a way, for us who claim to be democracies. If you want to be a democracy, it's not only that you have to be a democracy in your own country. I think that democracy has a special duty in the global, in the global world. They have a duty to bring peace and justice in the world because we can do it because we are democracies. We in the Netherlands have taken that seriously. We actually have an article in our constitution that talks about that, that it's our, our mission. Our mission is a bit of maybe a heavy word, but it's our duty to bring that peace and justice to the world, to further that in the world. And I think this country, this great country, has in its constitution, it has in its structure exactly the same. Like you came in 1945 to liberate Europe, or 1944 to liberate Europe, like you came in the First World War to help us uh, liberate Europe, you still have that duty. That's why we will insist on working together in those international organizations to hold sacred the institutions that we built after the Second World War. That's why we give the Anne Frank Award to Americans because or American-based organizations and people, because we think that there's no country in the world who has the ability, not only in might, but also in moral attitude, to be the leader in the world for that democracy, for that human rights effort in the world. And that's why I'm very happy and proud that we have found two extraordinary people in the United States who represent that timeline of accountability, of humanity, of dignity in the world. So thank you very, very much for being our recipient. We are proud of you. Thank you very much for all of you coming and witnessing this morning. Thank you very much.